In its educational mission, the University of Mississippi Medical Center commonly uses live medical procedures to instruct students, but doctors at the medical center recently used a pair of heart procedures not to teach students, but rather a large international group of cardiologists sitting in a Florida conference room. Dr. Makram Abid, professor of pediatric cardiology, performed two catheterized heart repair cases at UMMC that were live telecast to Miami for attendees of the Pediatric and Adult Interventional Cardiac Symposium. This conference is the most prominent conference in the world in reference to these kind of procedures in our specialty. But this conference, it shows uh, selected centers from all over the world doing special procedures to audience from everywhere really, uh, Europe, Asia, South America, North America, uh, and few centers are selected to do this. Video and audio from the pediatric catheterization lab were broadcast to the conference. Dr. Abid wore an earpiece which allowed him to take questions from panelists at the conference while he performed the two minimally invasive procedures. Alongside Dr. B during the procedures was Dr. Thomas Jones, a cardiologist from the University of Washington and Seattle Children's Hospital, as well as one of the symposium's course directors. Dr. Jones helped narrate and field audience questions about the techniques and methods used. Being able to present live cases like this to an international audience uh, is highly instructive. There's nothing as educational as seeing a physician in real time solve real patient dilemmas and, and deal with uh, challenging cases and have decision making and, and, and be able to comment and discuss those choices and how, how the work is done. The first of two cases broadcast to the conference was an 18-year-old male who received a new valve in his pulmonary artery. A patient who had open heart surgery in 1999 where he had a tube placed from the heart to the lungs and this tube is no longer working so he needs this tube uh, to be replaced. Uh, the traditional way to replace it is open heart surgery. Go back on heart lock bypass machine and have the whole thing taken out. Now we can do it without open heart surgery. So we're going to put the valve and the new tube uh, through the leg without uh, opening the chest or going to the heart lock bypass machine. Uh, and then he should be able to go home. Usually he could have gone home that evening. We watch them just because something new for overnight uh, on a regular floor. In the second case, an 11-year-old received a stent to widen a blood vessel near his heart. Dr. Abid chose to thread the catheter through the boy's liver, a technique still uncommon among interventional cardiologists. There are very few places which train people to do these procedures. After you get your regular training in general pediatric cardiology, there is also much more training involved in doing these kind of procedures. And technology evolves so quickly. And so if you don't have the skills and the experience and the enthusiasm to learn it and to move forward, uh, you're not going to be at the top of this uh, kind of procedures. So there are, because of all these, there are few places which do these kind of procedures. Since these procedures are still very specialized, and Dr. Abid is highly regarded in his field, symposium organizers wanted him to present the cases live from UMMC. Uh, it's a, a, a meeting that is built around live cases. Uh, it's an international program and we, uh, we uh, select ca uh, catheterization laboratories and operators that are known to be experienced uh, in these advanced interventional procedures in, in patients with congenital heart disease. And it's been a real pleasure to have the uh, University of Mississippi participate and, and Dr. Rabid is very well known and has an international reputation for doing this kind of quality work.